I feel like we're on a scavenger hunt or something. Kind of getting the whole story, putting the whole picture together, um, the big puzzle and behavior together. Ecogen really was something different. It was a new field, and it's um, a program not very many universities offer. We began in 2003. Um, and it is um, an interdisciplinary initiative that combines ecology, evolution, and genomics. Because it is the only really focused program on ecological genomics in the country that, that we're aware of. Many of us are involved in using ecological genomics to study the impacts of climate change. I use Drosophila melanogaster, which is a fruit fly, and we use it as a model insect to understand how insects adapt and evolve to different temperatures um, around the globe. And the particular flies I'm tipping right now um, were collected from Argentina. The history of what has happened um, to the fruit fly populations as they change and evolve to different temperatures is all in, in the DNA. And so you just have to know where to look and you can, you can find this story, basically, of how um, things have changed. So I work on interaction between C. elegans, small little microscopic nematodes, and um, how they perceive bacteria. And my project is specifically on a bacteria that kills C. elegans um, quicker than wild types, so quicker than normally. So these are um, small brown worms that primarily eat bacteria. And it's really interesting because I have a strain of bacteria that seems to basically evade this pathway that normally causes the worms to be long-lived. These kinds of studies weren't possible, um, say, 10 years ago. So why this is a new field is that, uh, in the last 10 years, is that now we start to have genomic tools that we can apply uh, to non-model organisms or organisms without their genomes um, sequenced we think will give us some perhaps predictive value for how organisms can respond to their changing environments. And that's going to be important as, as we face climate change and all sorts of other um, environmental changes.